Understanding and embracing differences is in the DNA of the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. All that the ISB does in Georgia is rooted in the basic belief that diversity makes us stronger when we intentionally connect and interact with other people and communities. ISB's programs are designed to help us be better neighbors when we know more about each other. We were so grateful to have ISB at the Community Foundation. Um, we had Sumaya and Iman Plumman come and, and share so much um, wisdom and, and storytelling with our staff. One of, the, one of the things that we do at the ISB is when we train speakers, uh, we are training them to go build bridges, not just simply have a one directional conversation, but actually make a connection and respect the differences and respect the diversity of thought, of faith traditions, of practices. I understood um, what giving meant generally with many interfaith communities, um, but then having ISB there to explain um, you know, what is that in terms of families and how, um, you know, individually everything is looked at as what we can do to give back to the community and how we can be in service of the community and how that was really um, interwoven into everything that's done. I've become an advocate and I happen to be at a, an event where somebody may speak ignorantly mm -hmm. about the, the community that I just visited or the community that I had met and I had built relationships with. I'm going to uh, share with them uh, some of the experiences that I've had uh, with that community and uh, and try to uh, sort of break down not only stereotypes about Muslims but now I'm breaking stereotypes about others, uh, other faith traditions, other communities. So it was a wonderful opportunity for us to have some really great aha moments, some you know giggles and laughter, um, but then also enjoy the time and, and shared knowledge um, that we have and in service of the community. I knew every faith group is called to feed the hungry and take care of the poor. I mean, it's one of the basic tenets of Islam is to feed the hungry. So having the Christian, the Jewish, the Muslim community together, we had Baha'is, we had Hindus, we had Buddhists there, and that really fulfilled a vision we had uh, to come together and that's what we all have is that same common goal. So with the Fayette County Summer Lunch Program, we have a diverse group. We have the Muslims, we have uh, members of Beni Israel, members of Nativity Church, and we get it done. The goal is to feed those children, and we go out to the community and do that. If somebody's out sick, the other one picks up. I, uh, there's uh, Manel, who's also part of the ISB. Her husband just flew into town. I was short a driver. I sent out an email. From the airport, he came and delivered lunches. You know, realtors have an expression that it's, uh, it's location, location, location. For us, the expression is relationships, relationships, relationships. It's all about building relationships. It's been very fruitful to talk with each other and to break bread together. Uh, there is a saying in the Islamic tradition that if you spread greetings, peace, and if you also break bread which, with each other, that, that will elevate your ranks. And certainly bringing it to the tangible level of breaking bread, talking on a personal level, respecting differences, but also working together on the many commonalities, that's the way to, to go forward. The, the best way uh, the best way for us to really get to know each other is to, to do things together. And uh, whether it's previewing a movie or, or eating or doing a program or we're also doing something good in the community. It's a hot ticket. It, it's a hot ticket. It's, a, it's definitely a hot ticket. It, but it is a, a wonderful evening and an evening where all Atlantans can um, share you know, with Muslims experiencing Ramadan at the same time. So for many people, it's their first time um, breaking fast uh, next to Muslims and seeing how Ramadan is, um, is done and they get to ask questions that 
Sometimes they wouldn't think to ask, but they're in a very safe, comfortable space, an inviting space. It's and, such a wonderful, it. it's such a wonderful opportunity, not just to celebrate, you know, the diversity in the community because there are people from all walks of life, every ethnicity and race and culture and, and faith tradition, but it's, it's really an opportunity to just, you know, sit down, break bread and, and enjoy a wonderful evening of fellowship. And you know, what Atlanta is all about. Atlanta is definitely all about that. Atlanta is intentional about its inclusivity. And this is just another place where Atlanta does things differently. This program was something that not only just brought together individuals who were leaders in their own spaces, in their own right, but also it brought together just community and you know the diversity all around that represents truly what is Atlanta. Oh my goodness, yeah, it's the, the civic leaders, the business, business leaders getting in there, talking to each other, just you know learning from each other and then walking away, making a difference within the community, the network, right? The network that you develop, priceless. To me, that's just priceless. So I'm really, again, very proud of the, the things that you all have accomplished. There's a transformation that occurs, right? Absolutely. The folks that, that come in have limited information, provide all this information, and then they walk away that they could use the next day. Quite, quite revolutionary, in fact. So it really lives beyond just the time that we spent there, you know, for those 10 months, but it really goes further beyond and beyond. ISB fulfills our mission through programs like these that bring together people from many backgrounds and tribes. We do this so that we may go beyond merely knowing each other to creating a better world. Join us.